What I got here, a little model 350, more 30 over. Got Vortec heads, LT4 cam. What I'm gonna be doing today is going over the timing. Vortec heads seem to like a little different timing than what uh, most heads like. I'm gonna show you how to time it, kind of how to how I prefer to lock out the distributor where it doesn't have as much advance. And uh, I've had the timing change on this so many times because I kind of felt like the heads liked more timing. And then uh, the guy that uh, had actually bored my block and stuff said, no, you, you, you don't want it there. So I kind of put it back. And now I think I've changed it somewhere else in between all that. So we're going to get it fired up and check what I got going on right now. And then we're gonna go over what I'm gonna change it to. But initially these heads like around 16 to 20 degrees initial timing and around 32, 34 of overall timing. And uh, I'm just gonna go over this with y'all. To be honest with y'all, I kinda looked it up, looked through some forms. And uh, I just wanted to share with y'all it's because sometimes it's easier to watch a video than it is to read through a bunch of forms. So that's what I came up with. The altitude where I live is a little different. I may uh, run a little more advanced than 32 degrees. But the main thing I wanted to go over with is kind of how to lock out the distributor to where it don't advance, you know, 20 degrees plus. I'm gonna get it fired up, let it warm up, and then uh, we're gonna check what I got going on and get a base on my timing. Right now we're at 16 degrees initial. We're gonna see what we got on our overall. Anytime when you're checking your timing, don't forget to uh, disconnect your vacuum advance. We're going to get this shipper cap pulled off of here. That's the only one thing that's wrong with Chevrolet. They put their distributors in the wrong place. They put it back here so far it makes it difficult to fart with it. A lot of you guys are probably saying, ah, quit your whining, but sure would be nice if it's up front. But I guess with it back here, it makes it more aesthetically pleasing. You don't have to look at a bunch of wires and distributor cap. You already loosened the distributor? It looks like it's flopping around. No. What do you figure out? Hmm? I have to take the yeah. after you get the cap off, you're gonna want to take your rotor off. Which then again is in the wrong place. Get your rotor off 
And then you'll be able to kind of lock out your vacuum advance or your mechanical advance from there. Got to be somewhat of a trained monkey to work on these things, but he's about got the rotor off. Now you can see right there where I've got that screw. All HEI distributors have a hole right there. And what I've done is I've tapped that hole and put that screw in there and I've kind of ground a flat edge on that screw. I'm going to come around here to the other side and maybe I can show you better. Now that I'm over here on this other side, you can kind of see the screw that I've threaded in there. You can see the edge that I've ground on it. And it kind of locks out the mechanical and vacuum advance on this thing so you don't get so much. So you can keep your initial where you want it, your overall where you want it. And you might could might could achieve the same thing with the weights and the springs, but I didn't want to invest in all that. It's easier just to put this screw in there. And uh, what I've done is I just used a little glue just to make sure it didn't fall out and drop down in there. But we're going to get this back together. Uh, what we've done is uh, I had a little bit too much advance on it still. So we've just turned that screw just a little. And uh, we broke the glue loose and uh, re-glued it. You don't have to glue it if you trust it, but I just didn't trust it. Fire this POS up. After going out, driving this thing, making multiple hits, 
We found out it definitely pulls a lot harder with 30 to 2 degrees overall. Really like the way it pulls up top. And uh, it's kind of sluggish with uh, 12 degrees initial. And uh, we're trying to lock this thing out just a little bit more to where we can get, uh, it seems like it runs the best at 16 to 20 degrees initial and 32 overall. We can uh, get the best of both of them worlds. Uh, it's definitely gonna scream for a little bit small block. Uh, the first time we had moved our little lockout screw, it uh, actually, I guess when that thing slung out, it moved that screw back to the flat part. So what we're gonna do is put another drop of glue so it'll kind of hold it. Yeah, well, took it out for one last rip. Seems like it runs the best it's ever ran at uh, about 18 initial timing and 32 overall. Uh, it, it really, really liked the 32 for sure. It pulls so much harder from 3,000 to about 5,600 with the uh, timing set at 32. You guys are running them heads, that's a that's an easy seat of your pants, probably 25, 30 horse seems like. It, it's definitely enough there to uh you can feel it. Now, I never figured that it would be that much there, but it definitely is. Alright, you guys, until next time, you have a good one.